Now here we have the NEC1 Marine unit, the twin, it's going to hopefully drive twin screws. I'm just giving this a test steaming. Obviously when this one is actually put into a boat, it'll lift up two exhaust plates that are soldered to it. Because it does tend to blow out rubbish everywhere. But you see the mechanism seems to work alright. And I think that will give a, a pretty healthy drive to the system. And to the screws at the back. Great engines, these. They rev really well. They're really so versatile. They're the most versatile mammal engine ever made. Or mechanical engine. Let's go around the table. Okay, this will have plenty of power. There isn't a flywheel on here at the moment. If I can get a wider beam hull. I can maybe put the flywheel on to get to even out the, uh, the drive a little bit. The two contracts on the end here, these here at the moment, are just temporary just to hold everything in. I've probably got that in front of them, it tends to spit out a lot of water. You can see, it uh, kicks out a fair bit of steam. The yellow pinions, I'd ultimately like to replace those with brass ones. I need to uh, have a hunt around my Mechano Gears box, see what I've got kicking around. idea, I think it's more than capable of driving it. The lamp itself will need to be secured in better, especially when it's on a boat. Let's try it in the other direction, bear with me. Plenty of noise if this was inside the hull of something like an old meteor. I'm sure it'd be rattling around like hell. The wooden hull hopefully might deaden the sound a little bit, especially if it's all covered up as well.